In this video, we're going to go over the following example, which actually requires placeholders in both the numerator for dividend and the denominator for divisor. So let me show you what that looks like when it's all set up. That's my divisor. My largest power is 3, and I want to account for everything after that. So there's 2, 1, and none. That's my constant term, which I was missing. Now, here, my largest power appears to be 6. Five, four, three, two. Here's my linear term that I was missing, and there's my constant term. Things that I can pay attention to I'm dividing a six degree polynomial by a third degree. That means my answer should be a third degree. So I will have at most four terms and possibly a remainder. It's only going to be that many steps then, so I might not have to be so much like I would have to if I were dividing by maybe a linear binomial. I would have to do several more steps and it would require more vertical length. So we're going to start our long division by dividing the leading term inside by the leading term outside we get just the next to the third careful that you remember the rules and those fours reduce we write that in the correct column it helps us know when we're done multiply it on the side properties of exponents you should know you add your exponents Parentheses, minus sign, underline, cancel. Now, even if this does cancel or go away, we don't cross it out like that. I asked you to, see here it becomes 0x to the fifth. That's how I would like you to write it. It doesn't matter if you make it positive or negative. After we bring down the negative 4x squared or minus 4x squared, we have four terms, which is what we're dividing by. So we know we're on the right track. Leading term divided by my leading term. Zero divided by four is zero. X to the second. Even though it's weird looking, treat it the same way. Keep going with the process. Zero times everyone here. Parentheses, minus sign, underline, cancel. Sixteen x to the fourth divided by four x to the third is four x. I'll put a plus sign in front, multiply it through all four terms. Parentheses, minus sign, underline, cancel. Bring
bring down that plus 10. Repeat. Just zero. It doesn't mean the problem's done. We have to figure out if there's a remainder, and if so, what is the remainder? We're going to multiply that. Parentheses, minus sign, I'm drawing cancel. We have 0x squared. We have 0x, but we have a 10. If these were not zeros, we would include whatever they might be in the numerator that we tack on to the end. But since I only have a 10 to worry about, I'll have plus 10 on top. And, and I'll write this answer over on the side, but 4x to the third minus 3x squared minus x. I guess I could put the plus 0 at the end. And if I write my answer over here without all the additional zeros, what would that look like? x to the third plus 4x plus... 10 over, and again, this whole thing could have been the numerator. I just didn't have that much room. 10 over 4x to the third minus 3x squared minus x. So this was perfectly acceptable. I have a remainder. That means that the divisor is not a factor of the dividend. However, this is the full quotient with the remainder included. If there's a thumbnail bringing you to a video of an example you want to see, feel free to click that. If not, check the playlist below in the description box for any other examples you want to check or have help with. If you understood this one and got it right all on your own, give the video a thumbs up. And if you had any mistakes, or if you are or were confused at any point, give the video a thumbs down. My feelings won't be hurt. Have a nice day.